All right, guys, so as expected, we're not getting a Machine Society banner for mid-month. Instead, we're getting a fist battle with three uh, premium characters. So news hasn't dropped yet. It's uh, 6.51 here. It drops at 7 a.m. here in London time. So let's just look at Soldex's data mines on Reddit for now. All the links and everything is going to be, uh, like all the info is going to be on Discord as always. But anyway, shout out to Soldex for this one. Essentially, we're going to have three characters, Noitra. Chad and Neliel. All of them are going to be a Fields Battle version. Neutra is a heart, he has cooldown reduction, and he is a no affiliation killer. He's got two unit skills. One of them is for the Hogyoku farming, so the read no affiliation dodges, and he's got freeze resistance. In terms of skills, we have Springer plus one, Breezer plus 20%, Frenzy, Berserker 20%. Devastation 40%, Debilitation 2%, uh, 2 seconds. He does extra damage to enemies with less, uh, that, has been, that have been lacerated. And he increases status element chance against mind attribute no affiliation enemies plus 10%. So yeah, that's what it is. I'm not going to go too much into details because we know that characters are what they are. They're pretty, uh, pretty good. We're going to get the... What's it called? The um, the gameplays very very soon as well. So I'll focus on the gameplays instead of focusing on this. Next up we have Neliel and she is quite interesting. She's gonna be the prize of the banner because she's got unique skills. She is technique with DR link 16%. She has anchor killer and essentially look at her skills. She's got split sprinter plus two, so great mobility. 50% Bruiser on top of Flurry and Poise, 60% Berserker. She also boosts the normal tech damage of any Iron Car, uh, well, tech Iron Car by 20%. And on top of this, she also has Freeze Ration 100%. And then she's got melee damage plus 10%. So she's gonna be dealing crazy amounts of damage. And finally, as if that was not enough, she also has, a, it goes up to 30% in guild quest, and that is the first time such a skill is introduced in the game. It's a bit like the Misson gap, but built in within the character. So she is going to be probably the best support ever, all guild quest, uh, like of all time for guild quest. And finally, we have, what's his name? Chad. Chad is going to be mine. He is cooldown reduction. Reminds me of the first one who had like 12% cooldown reduction. Human with Anchor Killer and skill wise, skills wise, he's got 40% Bruiser, which is good, 40% Berserker, which is good, Frenzy Devastation, 6. Um, what else? Poise, which is great, especially on a Frenzy unit. Uh, I wish he had a Havoc, but he doesn't. Goldberg, which is amazing, and Hidden Enemies, chance 100%. So he's gonna be one hand of a PvE unit. So honestly, they've done this banner really, really, really well. Um, yeah, in about a minute, we're going to have the visuals, so i start recording again in a minute. See you guys. All right, so shout out to Anna. We s we are starting to get all the visuals and everything in the BBS News channel. So there it is. I love the look of those banners that look like a bit OG, like, no, actually pretty OG. I was eager to get an Unreal version of those guys. So Niliel, we have heard a four star somewhat like this. So five star version of this is amazing. Neutra as well on release, that's good because we've got a 4 star only and then we've got the Chad. Um, yeah, Neya is definitely the product of this banner. I'm really, really looking forward to her. Uh, Neutra is cool, but, well, he's Neutra. Um, the Tanta Quentin is one five star characters at certain steps. Interesting, they don't show us like all steps. Anyway, fear of time. Oh, oh wow. So I don't have her, I don't have Makoto. Uh, yeah, go figure. Uh, and then we have this Heidi Bell, which is very good as support for Gear Quest. I, yo, wow! I don't have this girl either. Um, Stark is an amazing link. If you don't, if you're missing one of those three, they are absolutely amazing because what well, they just got their resurrection, so you're gonna get 200 orbs back from each of them if you get any of them. So that's great. So Stark, very, very good one. This guy is a booster, very good, very useful. This guy, absolute nuker for normal Gear Quest. This guy, um, Tiny Biakuya, baby, uh, young Biakuya, he's actually very, very good as a main for the no affiliation gear quest because he's got lacerate on all his kit plus he's got the Vortex SA2. So honestly, that's a very, very, very good banner, like very surprising. This is a great banner. All the characters have great uses. 
and they're very good like they could have done us really bad with the bonuses here but no the overall banner is good and i guess the reason behind that is this is a premium banner and for that reason kidab needs to have some incentive in it for us to want to pull on that banner and the incentive is right there it's screaming at us it's great characters by the end of the day you know what we say premium banners escape blah 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 you know the drill it's up to you your or your decisions but honestly i'm gonna say this is not a bad banner like k-lab could have done us a lot dirtier with this it's not a bad banner in my opinion anyway morning's coming up and i's gonna be uploading them and I'm sexy and i know it